All right, I'm Dave Ratt, and today I'm going to see how far we can run analog signal down Sound Tools SuperCat and SuperCat Sound Cable. This is Cat 5E cable. We're going to run analog down to twisted pair or twisted pairs. And um, let's see what happens when we start to go some really long lengths. Uh, typically, you know, for a show, we're running 100 meters plus some state snakes. Um, but what if we start to exceed that and get to some really long cable runs? Uh, let's go over the setup a little bit. I've got a, um, some mics here. I've got an SM58, uh, an AKG C414, uh, Phantom Power mic, and uh, Neumann U89 phantom power mic, some large diaphragm condensers, um, because we'll check uh, how far we can run phantom power as well. I mean, can you really phantom power a mic 100, 800, 1600, or uh, 3200 meters or more? Uh, I've got them run into a bunch of wires and stuff such that I've got a sound tools mic swapper here. And in the A position, it will let me listen to the um, cable direct, a very short run. And in the B position, whatever I've connected in between the two. Um, on Smart, I've got um, it set up here so that we can see what's going on and I can capture uh, those curves. And um, I've got a little monitor here so we can hear it. And during the video, I'll switch over and we can actually listen to the difference in sound. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and start. I've got, oh, let's go ahead and look at the um, cable run. And I'm going to grab this over here. Here I've got a set of cattails, four channel cattails, and um, we're plugged into the other end of this 100 meter super cat cable. Uh, so this is going to be 100 meters of um, cat 5E. Now, what we'll do is we'll start with pink noise. I've got the volume turned down. Let's turn that on and we can see it here on Smart. It's relatively flat. We see some aberrations on the high end. That's just from this cheap mixing board. Um, but since that's our baseline reference point, let's go ahead and capture that. And let's bring it up. There's our pink noise. Next, let's go ahead and, while we're watching that, switch back and forth between short cable length, 100 meters. Short length, 100 meters. Um, I don't see any differential there for that, and that's to be expected. That's not an uncommon length, relatively easy. Uh, let's see what happens sound wise. So here's a 58. Two, 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 two. Hello. And we, that's at 100 meters and short cable length. Hey, hey, hey. Two, 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 two. Go ahead and see what happens with an AKG C414. Bring it down. Plug that in. I will forget to turn these down, and we will hear pops. Hey, hey, hey. Two, two. All right, there's a C414. Listening to that at um, 100 meters and at very short cable length. And it sounds very similar to me, as to be expected, because that's what we saw on Smart. Same thing with a... Neumann, U89, short cable length, hey, 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 two, 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 and 100 meters. All right. Well, that was easy enough. Let's go ahead and make this a little more challenging. So plug in the pink noise back in, and let's go unplug this 100 meter cable and add in, there's 100, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 800 meters. Uh, the cool thing about 800 meters is 800 meters is equivalent to about one half of a mile, um, which is a nice long cable run. So let's put pink noise on. And we can see it here. And we actually do see on Smart uh, a slight drop, uh, less than a dB uh, across the spectrum, not so much in the high end but uh, pretty linearly all the way across. 
You listen to that, and we'll go to the short cable run. You see it jump up and back down. We're also seeing a slight phase shift happening in the top end there. Cool. Uh, let's see what the mic sound like. Here's a 58. Two, 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 and that short. And 800 meters, one half mile of cable. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. And uh, this sound, there's a pop between them, but um, I've got phantom power running these long cables and it takes a second to charge it up. Hey, 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 two, two. Uh, what you notice is we didn't really get a pop with the short cable, and um, that's because this swapper is quiet with a phantom switching, uh, but putting all this cable in line definitely um, creates something that the switcher can't compensate for. Let's try the, I knew I was going to do that. Um, let's try the AKG C414, and uh, right there is the short cable length, and there is 800 meters, one half mile of cable, 222. Two, two. Two, two, two. Oh, let's go on to the big boy here and see what the Neumann U89 does. Hey, 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 two. Oh, we are getting phantom power. Nope, that's a short. There's the long. And yes, we are getting phantom power at a half a mile. Let's bump it up a notch. Um, I'm going to plug in the pink and let's go to. Plug that in, re-jumper these. I've got these all jumpered together with um, uh, Ethercon barrel couplers. So those are in line as well. It's not just a straight run. So it's even a little more challenging than the cable would be straight through. So this is 1,600 meters, 16 reels of Supercat cable. Uh, let's do pink noise. There we can hear it. And on the analyzer, we can see it. And there we're down about a dB and a half across, a little more in the top end. But we've got uh, pretty much full spectrum. Doesn't look like anything that uh, can't be EQ'd. Let's give it a shot. And by boosting the highs slightly and boosting the levels. I don't want to touch the level. By boosting the mids, let's boost the highs. We'll boost the lows a little bit. Uh, we can easily get back there. So. Nothing a little EQ isn't going to fix for us. Um, but we are seeing a bit of loss with a mile of cable. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we're passing some phantom for that. First, we'll try 58. 2, 2, 2, yeah, yeah, yeah. And switching to, hey, 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 short, 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 long, long, long. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, the sound is pretty similar, at least from this with the monitor there. I'm going to try um, C414. Hey, oh, turn up the volume. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. And switch to a long one mile of cable. Hey, yep, 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 yep. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Let's see if we can get phantom power to a U89. Uh, my unplugging skills at play there. Hey, 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 hey. And that's short. And long. Hey, hey, hey. Two, 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 two. All right. Doesn't seem to be much trouble for these things. Um, to power the juice over that far, let's go to a mile and a half. Now here, for the next eight, I've got actual cat sound. It's a, uh, the internals are fairly similar, wire gauge and such, um, but each pair is individually shielded instead of overall shield. The reason I'm using the difference cables is we didn't have any more cable here. And this is all that we have available at the time. Let's go ahead and check the pink noise. This is short. And I've touched that slightly. Let me put these EQs back. And there's our short cable run and long cable run. All right, so now we're starting to see close to a little over 2 dB, almost 3 dB, 2 dB across the spectrum until we get to about 4K. And then we're getting into 3, 6, 6 dB or more. Let's see if we can EQ it back in. And yes, we're able to EQ it. But we are seeing some roll off. Let's see what that roll off sounds like with a microphone. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, one, two, 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 58 at 1.5 miles and 58 at very short. Hey, 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 two, 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 two. Uh, mile and a half, Phantom Power, C414. Uh, hey, hello, I'm using the C414 in the Neumann. i um, thinking maybe they draw more. I didn't look it up, but drawing some good Phantom Juice than um, some of the smaller mics would. Yep, and that's short. And C414 at 1.5 miles. And finally, let's do the Neumann. Yep, all right. Neumann at 1.5 miles. Neumann short. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. All right. Um, well, that's all the cable I've got, but each of those cables has four conductors on it. So we can actually take this a bit further. If we run it up the cable run through all 24 cables, and then we link channel one to channel two and run it, oops, one to two, and run it all the way back another 1.5 miles. And let's go to three miles, not the island. So it's going into one, going down, bridging to two up there, and coming all the way back for a three mile run. Let's plug in the pink noise generator. This cool little sound bullet there. Um, and that's the short. We can see it on the analyzer. And there we go. OK, now we're starting to really see some roll off. Now that roll off starting at about, uh, we're seeing just a straight dB drop, which is OK. Because if it just turns down, we've got to turn it up a few dB. Um, that's not that big of a deal to us. But the roll-off is more of a concern. And we can see that's happening around as low as 1.4K. It starts to roll off. Uh, let's see if it's correctable by EQ. And it mostly is. I'm boosting the highs quite a bit. But it's definitely um, dropping off a bit. Let's see what it sounds like and if it passes phantom power. Oh, here's a 58 at hey, 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 two, 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 and uh, that's three miles away. And that is short cable run. So we can now we can hear that difference pretty clearly. Hey, 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 one, two. Hey, 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 one, two. It's definitely duller and quieter. But we are getting the cable. We are getting the signal through. And if I boost the highs, hey, 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 one, two, two, two. Hey, 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 one, two. Uh, so it is EQable, but um, probably not the most, definitely not the most fidelity oriented way to do things. But can it be done? Uh, let's try the AKG and see if we get phantom power. A one, two, 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 two. And there's three miles of AKG short cable run and definitely hotter there. Hey, 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 one, two, one, two. The Neumann what power. I'm wondering if we're actually going to get this long enough to where we drop off and these mics don't power up. Hey, 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 two, 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 short, short. No, it's long. Hey, and short. Hey, 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 two, 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 and three miles. One, two, two. All right. Well, if that's not enough, let's do another one. Um, let's just max this out. So I've got it bridged there. Channel one goes up. It's channel two comes back. If I grab this yellow adapter right here, I can pick up channel two into three and send it all the way back there and then pick up four over here. And now we've got a full six miles of twisted copper that we're going to run this down. And this should be quite the challenge indeed. Let's plug in the pink noise. And there's our flat, which we're seeing on the analyzer. And it's the same. And here is six miles of cable. Now we're seeing some significant roll off. And it's happening all the way down around. We're probably seeing 6 dB 
of drop in level up to about 400 cycles, 350 cycles, and then it drops off pretty significantly. Um, but will it pass audio? What does it sound like? Two, 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 one, two. There's a 58. Hey, hey, hey. One, two, two. And I'll switch to see the drop. Two, two, two. Two, two, two. Okay, definitely dull, but it's still there. Um, can we get phantom power in a pinch? Six miles of cable. Let's just go straight to the Neumann and see what happens. And there we go. Six miles of cable down the Neumann. And I'll switch to short. Hey, hey, short, short, short. And six miles. Um, okay, so I failed. I was unable to find out how far we can go because um, I don't got any more cable to do it with. Um, cool. So based on that, you know, it. Um, he can run a good length. You know, a mile seems to be pretty reasonable. Uh, a few miles, you start to lose off some stuff. When you get into the three, four, six miles, three, six miles, it's um, uh, questionably usable. I'd say around the one, one to three mile range, depending on what your signal is. And um, cool, fun stuff.